The Philippine Navy commissioned its newest advanced frigate, BRP Diego Silang, FFG-07, on December 2, 2025. The event marks the Philippines' latest effort to strengthen its presence in the contested South China Sea. The BRP Diego Silang, FFG-07, named after an 18th-century Filipino revolutionary leader, is expected to boost maritime domain awareness in the West Philippine Sea, Manila's exclusive economic zone in the South China Sea. The vessel was delivered by South Korean shipbuilder H.D. Hyundai to Subic Bay in September and underwent acceptance procedures before commissioning. This will add to the capital ships of the PN that are capable of patrolling all the way up to our EEZ and even beyond, Philippine Navy spokesperson for the West Philippine Sea Rear Admiral Roy Vincent Trinidad said in a press briefing. It will be the most modern warship that we will have. In his remarks at the ceremony, Defense Undersecretary for Acquisition and Resource Management Salvador Melcher Mizen Jr. said the commissioning of the BRP Diego Silang reflects continued progress in the country's military modernization. The Diego Silang is the second ship in the Miguel Malvar class of guided missile frigates, part of two vessels ordered from HD Hyundai Heavy Industries in 2021 for $554 million, P28 billion. Displacing 3,200 tons, the ships can reach speeds of up to 25 knots and sail 4,500 nautical miles. They are designed for multi-domain operations, including anti-surface, anti-air, anti-submarine, and electronic warfare missions. The ships are armed with a 16-cell vertical launching system for VL MICA missiles, 8 Sea Star anti-ship missile launchers, a Gokhtanis 35mm close-in weapon system, a 76mm main gun, two triple torpedo launchers, and an advanced ESA radar. The first ship in class, BRP Miguel Malvar, FFG-06, was commissioned in May 2025. The Philippine Navy is also expecting six offshore patrol vessels from HD Hyundai under a separate $537 million P30 billion, contract, with delivery set to begin next year. The second ship, the future BRP Raja Lacangela, PS-21, was launched in November at the Olsen Shipyard, following the launch of the first ship, BRP Raja Suleiman, in June. The Department of National Defense said in a procurement monitoring report last October that it is planning to acquire two additional frigates under a $585 million P34 billion, contract, excluding ammunition and missiles. The underfunded Philippine Navy is working to strengthen its capabilities to bolster maritime security and keep pace with regional counterparts. Trinidad said in the same briefing that 19 Chinese, frigates and destroyers of various types, were sighted in November encroaching into the West Philippine Sea, the portion of the South China Sea that China claims almost in its entirety.